Old man Taylor coming to you from the driveway today. What's going on? Well, I've got a Jaguar 2018 modern version uh, that when I went to release the hood, the hood lever had no resistance and it did not release. So like probably everyone watching this video, uh, I jumped on YouTube, jumped on the internet trying to find, uh, you know, what, how does this work? Found nothing on the modern, uh, modern version, 2018 forward, right? Uh, so what I do have is access to another 2018. This is an F-Pace. Uh, they're the same systems. Uh, so I, I decided to take a look at that, uh, figure out how it works, reverse engineer that uh, so that I could get into this uh, problem, diagnose what's wrong with it, order some parts is what I thought I was going to do, and, and then shoot a video on, on installing those parts. Well, turns out uh, I took apart way more than I needed to to fix my specific problem. Uh, but while I got it apart, I figured I'll go ahead and show you how the system works. Uh, and if your cable breaks uh, and you have to release the hood the manual way, how would you do that? And, and then show you my problem, which might be the common problem that's going to be out there, how I fix that. And what's different between the two? Why didn't the F-Pace cable fall out, whereas the XC's did? And can I learn something from that and prevent it from failing in the future. So that's what today is going to be. I'm going to be shooting a lot of this first person. I'll be holding the camera. I don't normally do that, but I've got to kind of get you into where, uh, let you see what I see so that you're able to, uh, to navigate this thing. So that's the project for today. All right. So here is my hood latch. And when I pull that up, it exposes a little Try to hold that steady there. A little piece of metal there. That's my cable connector. And you can see my cable coming out of it. That's one place that we could have a problem. If that, uh, if that dot has come out of that, it just snaps in. You might find the, the cable just kind of floating around in there. If that's the case, you need to feed it through and snap it right into that spot. But that's not our issue. You know, we did hope for that. That would have been pretty simple. That's not what we've got going on today. Problem number one. All right, this would be the passenger side hood catch. And if we look down inside there, we'll see a kind of rusty piece of cable with a ball on the end of it. That little ball is what's going to engage the release. If we're gonna have to access this to open the hood, basically it's the piece that that moves out of the way so right under this cam arm here that will be sticking out. You just need to push that in, in this photo, to the right from the grill. You know, so basically from the passenger side towards the driver's side. Of course, this is an American car. So uh, when I say passenger, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that side towards the driver's side. That little, that little bar has got a slide that way only about that far but if i look down uh well if i were if i look towards the hood the front of the car the grill you can see there's very little places where you'd be able to access that with the hood closed well the only place that i found is if you slide out a little bit here you can see there's the driveway so what i had to do is take out the wheel well to get to this one and release it. Once I took the wheel well out, which was not a major project, it actually came out very easily, I was able to reach up there with a long screwdriver and just push it, and that freed it right up. You know, it popped right out. So if your cable is broken, if it's in place, and your problem is when you pull the cable, it doesn't release this side. You do get some action on the other side, but you get no action on this side. The answer is going to be take out this this wheel well right here, and then and the light's going to kind of wash this out. But I'm going to look for there we go. Give you uh, you can see there's a wire with a red plug on it. That's the indicator that tells the car my hood is open. Right above that, you can see the end of that cable. There it is. You're going to stick your screwdriver up right there and just press to the left. It'll catch the piece of metal that's the release, uh, and that will release that side. I had a camera problem and lost some footage, so I'm reshooting this bit. This is the driver's side latch 
uh, I've already repaired the cable. Uh, I'll show that in, in a couple later videos where that's sticking out. But uh, if, if my cable was broken and I needed to release this, the way I would do that, my wheel well, and I've already put my wheel well back in, but it really gives me very little access. If we look you know, down in, in this hole here, we can see we've got quite a bit of equipment in the way on this side. This would be the driver's side of the American car. So taking the wheel well out, which I did, gave me a little bit of access, but really wasn't the answer here. If I look straight down though, I can see there's a hole I can see the driveway down there. It's a small hole, but that hole lines up pretty perfectly with this latch and the place where, you know, right underneath it, that I've got a free in order to open this. There is a hose that runs just right in the way of being able to see that very well from down below. So that does make it a bit of a challenge, but if we look down in that space, we'll see there's my cable. And that's the the little tab I got to push on right at the end of the cable. I do have a clear shot of that, just barely. That hose really covers it up when you're looking back up. And I'll, and I'll show a video looking back up so you'll be able to see how to identify that hose and know that's exactly where the cable is going to be is right behind that. You know, I've got this large electrical box right in the way, but if I keep working back. There's my big hose. I can see that very clearly. The hose that's blocking access to that. Well, I ended up laying underneath the car and used my screwdriver and stuck it up from this angle. But I wasn't able to see it very well. Well, that hole that we saw from above is right here on this on this piece of plastic here. And we we could remove that instead of the wheel well. Then if I come up to my hole, I look up there, well, there it is. I've got my cable, I've got, you can see right about there, there I can see from here, when I, when I got this far with my screwdriver to release that, I could see my cable had actually dropped out of the bracket. It's just barely out uh, and, and it's kind of silhouetted with, from this angle uh, with the way the sun's shining on it. Uh, you can barely see that the cable is actually free. <laughs> it has fallen out of the bracket. That was the whole problem. So I took my straight edge screwdriver, just pushed it in back at the top, and then my lever worked to open my hood. So if my cable was broken, I would do the same thing as I did on the other side, and I would do it from here and just pull that little piece of metal right to the edge of the bracket, and that would release it just fine. Or if your cable has fallen out, this is all you have to do. You literally could just get a thin piece of metal, come straight up from this hole, not take apart anything, and push it right in place. Um, if you need more access, I would take this, this piece of plastic that runs the length of the car here. I, I would take that off just to get more room and probably not worry about taking out this entire wheel well. All right, so there's my actual problem. That cable's just a little bit loose see it's not sitting in its little bracket that's why when I pull the cable the cable doesn't release anything it just moves all right so now I've just snapped it back in we're good to go right if I pull the handle it does release the hood now but it, but I got looking at this and why is that why was that coming out of there well let's go take a look at the F pays all right, this is the F-Pace. We have, you can see the green paint there. That's how you know it's a different car. It's the same setup. You know, it's exactly the same. The difference is this cable is coming up, and it's fed through this space right here, and that holds tension uh, against this, you know, where this fits into this bracket. It's cut from the bottom. You know, it snaps in from the bottom. This is pulling pulling it up all the time so it, it can't fall down. All right, let's go back to the, uh, to the XE. If we look at the XE, we can see it's routed down, not up. So it's, you know, it's running the wrong direction. Its force is 
pushing it down all it takes is a couple pretty heavy bumps there and that guy's going to come out of there so i don't believe it was that way when it was new i think that just has happened over time so when i look at this i don't really know what this blue thing is but it certainly holds that cable perfectly so believe that was the intent was for that thing to be to hold that in place and, and it worked its way loose when i look at uh you know i'm just going to move to the right here follow this cable back towards the car uh, i've got i've got a clamp in fact i've got several you see that one's loose it's popped out of that one it's popped out of that one uh, it's that one's holding it okay that one's loose so i believe that the these these are supposed to lock it in and keep it nice and tight against you know over the top of that blue thing uh, and that's what's supposed to hold it all together so i believe this is all just kind of worked itself a little bit too loose and giving it enough slack to fall i'm gonna unsnap them all reroute that cable get it nice and snug snap them all back in maybe even add a zip tie or two uh, if i find a couple places where that makes sense to be sure that that doesn't that doesn't drop out again all right when i rerouted that i was able to get it way higher i'm really happy with how high that is and when i snapped that back in it naturally went there but what i found was it was really just a little too loose a little too sloppy and that's you know i guess the clamps had just sort of weakened over time and it just wasn't holding that cable so it couldn't move very well did find a great spot to add a zip tie right there uh, which locks that slack that i need in to keep it this high so it can't tighten up and that's what was happening it was tightening and as it tightened it pulled down yeah and then eventually dropped all the way under all that so it fits very nicely right here i'm, I'm sure that's how it was supposed to be these clamps have gotten a little loose over the years adding you know i, had, I got a nice hole here that's not used it's right next to the hole for the for the shock if you're looking for that uh straight above there there's nothing on the hood that's going to make contact be perfect it'll hold it nice and snug so if you're watching this video there's probably a real good chance this is your problem and if that is so i would recommend popping a zip tie in there once you uh once you get your hood open by going up through that little hole i showed you and maybe not have to take apart the whole world all right there it is And we have a functional hood system. All right, so there you have it. Old Man Taylor, if you found this video helpful in any way, I would appreciate it if you would help me. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you would, drop me a comment, It'd be outstanding. Thank you very much, and until next time.